Hi, my name is Elliot Oppenheim, and I'm a medical legal consultant. I hope you would look at my website, medintelnet.com, and you can see what I can do for you and your clients. I practiced medicine for almost 20 years, then I went to law school, and I have a master's degree in uh, health law. Where would you hire me? Why would you need somebody like me? Well, evidence is the coin of the realm. And I wrote the book, The Medical Record as Evidence. It's the definitive work and continues to be the definitive work in this field of law. You would want to hire me to help you put together medical evidence in litigation. There are two areas of litigation that I work in. One typically is criminal defense. The other is medical negligence, medical malpractice. What I do for criminal work, and I'll explain this first, somebody's been charged with a crime. And if there's a medical component, so for instance, a crime of violence, sexual crimes, some kind of crime where there's medical evidence, what I do is examine the evidence, record by record, page by page, line by line, and do what I call is a game plan. And that is, I tell you what to look for and where it is in the medical record. And then, once we have a game plan and we know what happened in a medical sense, in an evidentiary sense, what I then do is create either discovery, if that's possible, or trial questions, anticipating the medical expert testimony. If you have a pathologist and an autopsy, I'll create medical questions to question that expert. And so we wind up using the state's experts against the state by using science. And this is very effective. It's also very cost effective. You have basically a free expert the state's expert, and we can cross-examine that expert using scientific techniques to get at the truth. One of the nice things about science is that there is truth. Something has a medical value. For instance, an autopsy could show that somebody died from cardiac arrest. Well, there might be other issues that come in from a legal sense, which bear on the case. But the cardiac arrest is a medical fact. Uh, recently, I did a case in Alaska where a, a man was um, fooling around with a bunch of his friends and they were using fentanyl. And uh, the defendant uh, did give a fentanyl patch to another man. And that other man injected the fentanyl. What he did was he uh, put it into a solution and then he injected it and, and he died. And the person who gave the fentanyl patch was charged with murder. We were able to show that this just wasn't the case and we got an acquittal. The other thing is in negotiating pleas, once we have the game plan, we kind of know what happened in the case and we can present it to attempt to resolve the matter by plea bargain. Sometimes uh, prosecutors will be very sensitive to that and they will dismiss a case or they may plea bargain down uh, from very serious murder charges, you know, down to uh, some kind of assault. So th that can be done very successfully. And what I do is I, I work with the lawyer so that the lawyer has um, a set of questions and a game plan and knows where this case is going. The defense is very powerful for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is the state doesn't have me. The state does not have access, or they typically don't hire MDJDs with a lot of medical legal experience to bring a case. And they often either overcharge or mischarge or speculatively charge 
these cases just to see what's going to stick on the wall. And if it happens, it happens. Well, my work is very precise, page by page, line by line. And if we can cross-examine or if we can negotiate with the prosecutor, you might be able to get a dismissal or uh, some sort of plea bargain on lesser charges. I am easy to work with. I'm 70 years old. Um, I uh, enjoy doing this work and I am committed to defending people who are wrongly accused or people who uh, need a defense and I believe everybody needs a defense. I describe myself as a board certified bleeding heart liberal. So usually what I do is I work on a fixed fee basis and most of my cases are somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000. Um, in um, very needy cases we can talk about the price. Um, I will accept whatever a state will pay or federal authorities will pay, uh, the federal pro uh, public defender, uh, and I am very uh, committed to helping your clients.